Hello friends and welcome to your weekly tarot scopes. This is for the week starting the 25th of May 2020. So my gosh, it's the last week of May. I can't believe it. Where's time going? But anyway, I have laid out the cards here in front of us and this week I am using the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck which has a lot of similarities to a tarot deck, but it also has some other interesting little bits in it too. So I thought that would be a nice deck to use this week. And as you can see, I have shuffled, I have laid out the cards, and um, I have not peeked. So we have got all the cards laid out. We've got Aries all the way through to Pisces as usual. There's only one card. The whole idea behind these tarot scopes is supposed to be quick, easy, simple, messages for each one of you just to help you through the next week so we're going to start with Aries we're going to go through to Pisces and then if you stay to the end or if you check at the end I'm going to draw us a message from the angel oracle to get a message from the angels to help us through the week as well so without further ado let's get straight into it right let's get straight into it we're starting off with Aries Aries let's see what the week ahead has in store for you so Aries, you have got the Eight of Cups, which is emotional withdrawal. So you may find yourself in the week ahead withdrawing or, or pulling, pulling away from people, pulling away from circumstances and pulling away from situations around you. You may be feeling a little bit like you don't want to participate, maybe feeling a little bit like, you know what, I'm tired of this, I need, I need something new. And we know how Aries get uh, easily bored and easily frustrated. So this may be you feeling this week. You may be feeling like, I don't want to participate, I'm, I'm wanting something new, I'm looking for a new experience, looking for new opportunities. But it's not that you have chosen to walk away, it's not that you are saying that you're finished and you're done with it, but there's certainly those kind of thoughts that are happening, thoughts are happening in your head and in your heart of, is this all there is or is there anything more that I should be looking at? So Aries, that's you for the week ahead. Now we're going to go into Taurus. Or oh, another eight. Very interesting. So Taurus, for you this week, we have got the ace, positive movement forward. So this card is saying to you that you are ready to move on. You're ready to progress. You're ready to go. You've done all the thinking. You've done all the planning. You've done everything that you need to do. And Taurus, the week ahead, you're going to see that there's going to be progress. You might find that in the last couple of weeks that there hasn't been much progress. You may be feeling like you've been a bit stuck. You've been a bit trapped. You haven't been moving as much as you would want to, making progress as much as you want to. So clearly this week ahead for you, Taurus, is going to be a week of, of movement, of activity and seeing progress. I like that. Okay, we're now going to go into Gemini. Gemini, for you, we have the four, and this four is talking about foundations and achievements. So you need, your week is going to be focused on your foundations and your achievements. So you need to ask yourself, are your foundations solid? Are the things that you have happening in your life, your work and your home, your relationships, your finances, is your foundation strong? Is your foundation as strong as it should be? Um, because if you don't have that strong foundation, you're not going to achieve anything. So Gemini, for you, your, your focus this week is on your foundations so that you can have and achieve everything that you need to achieve because we know how ambitious you Geminis are. So Gemini, for you, your focus this week is to ensure that everything is solid. Make sure your, your foundations, your structures, your plans, your strategies and everything are in place. Good. Right, let's move on to Cancer. So for our Cancerians, we had the two eights. How interesting is that? And now we've got the two fours in a row. So there's clearly a, a pattern and a theme developing here. So Cancerians, for all of you out there, we have the discontent and boredom card. So otherwise known as the four of cups. And you know what, with everything that's going on in this world, I'm surprised this card hasn't come up more often because, you know, we are feeling a little bit bored. We are all feeling a little bit discontented. Um, we are feeling like, you know, things aren't ma maybe happening as much as we want to. We want to spend time with our families. We want to spend time with our loved ones. And we may be feeling like we can't. So discontent with everything in life. So this is not just a certain area or a certain aspect. So Cancerians, your week ahead is going to be feeling a little bit like that and if you do find yourself feeling discontented and bored you know do something that just gives you that sense of of joy that sense of happiness that sense of love don't allow this feeling to overwhelm and to continue for too long work at it make sure that it doesn't happen and make the changes that are necessary to keep you moving forward okay perfect right 
We're now going to move into Leo. Let's see what's in store for Leo for the coming week. Oh, nice. Okay. So, Leo, you've got victory and success. And, you know, this is the Six of Wands in the traditional tarot. The, the, the Six of Wands is basically saying coming back and everybody recognizing your achievements, your success, your victories. Everybody is giving you the recognition that you deserve. So that's why they're blowing on the vuvuzel or blowing on the trumpet is to welcome you in and to say our, our person has returned and there's so much happiness and so much joy. You've achieved so much. You've done so much. So well done. Okay. So it, it's, it's quite an interesting one for you, Leo. And it's basically saying that you have worked so hard and there will be recognition for everything that you've done this week. You will receive it this week. Stunning. Now let's have a look at Virgo. So Virgo, your week ahead, oh, it's very similar to what we had earlier on as well. So what you've got here is firm foundation. So it's basically, it's another four, mm -hmm. and it's basically saying to you, you need to make sure that your foundations are solid. Don't worry about all the detail. Don't worry about the who, when, why, how, what. Don't worry about any of that. Make sure that your foundations are as strong and as solid as they can possibly be. Okay, that is what your week for Virgo is going to be. It's going to be about making sure that if that your foundations are strong, making sure that you have everything in order, in place as it needs to be. Because if your foundation is not strong, your entire pyramid is going to collapse. This entire mountain that we can see in the background of the card is based on a really strong, solid foundation. So your focus for the week, Virgo, please let it be on creating firm foundations and reinforcing any foundations that may be a little bit wobbly. Okay. Right, we're heading over here. I need to make sure that I'm on camera. We're having a look at Libra. Let's see what's in store for Libra. Libra, you have got this gorgeous card of fertility. And fertility is not telling you that you're going to be full pregnant. It's not telling you that you are fertile. But what it is, it's talking about creating opportunities, creating um, um, opportunities and being creative in everything that you do. Your mind is fertile. Your opportunities are fertile. Everything around you is fertile. So you can create anything that you set your mind to. So Libra, for you, understand that this week is a really positive week. If there is anything that you've been thinking about implementing, doing, starting, creating, this is a good week for that. Okay, so Libra, you are fertile. Everything around you is fertile. Opportunities, times, everything. So it's a good time to start new, 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 new ventures, new opportunities and new businesses. All right, Libra, that's a good one. Let's go and see what's in store for Scorpio. So Scorpio, your week ahead really awesome card and it is accelerated motion and you know what's nice about this card Scorpio is it basically says to you that everything's already set in motion okay so you can see that this comet that's flying through the sky it's already started it's already pro it's already on its journey okay it's already made some progress there's nothing that you need to do to change its course of action to change where it's going to land you've got to just let it go but know that it's already started the magic is already happening everything's already in motion and it's moving at a really fast pace. So anything that you're working towards, anything that you're waiting for, anything that you are holding out for is coming for you this week. Just know that things are going to move at quite a fast pace. So buckle your seatbelt and be prepared, Scorpio. And now we're going to go to Sagittarius. So Sagittarius, you have got the card of moving on. Okay, so it's also, it's a card of saying, you know what, I'm fed up and tired of what, of the way things have been, they don't work for me, I want something different, I want something better, I want something more exciting for myself, and it's a case of, you know what, I'm, I'm going now, all right, I'm packing up all my belongings, I'm taking everything that's valuable and important to me, and I'm heading out the door, so it's, it's not a card of ponder, it's not a, it's not a week of pondering, it's not a week of, of, making decisions the decision has been made this is the week of action it's the week of acting out on whatever it is that's important and significant okay so Sagittarius don't get caught up in thinking and pondering and weighing up your pros and your cons you've already made the decision this is the week to act on it and to make it happen for you I like that okay let's see what's in store for Capricorn so dear Capricorn you have got the beautiful three of cups and the three of cups is all about rejoice, rejoice and celebration. It's all about taking time to figure out, 
to recognize all that you have achieved and to celebrate that. And I know here in South Africa with the lockdown, we don't have any alcohol, so we can't take wine and, and say cheers to our friends, <laughs> but we need to do it virtually. We need to do it in our minds. We need to do it in our hearts. So Capricorn, for you, celebrate your successes this week. Celebrate all, your, all the things that you've done right. Celebrate everything that is going right in your world. Even the small little things. Let's rejoice and let's celebrate in the, in the success and the happiness that is there for you. Okay. So Capricorn, lots of success and happiness. Celebrate it. And now let's have a look at Aquarius. So Aquarius, you've got the power card and in traditional tarot known as the power card. Uh, sorry, the strength card. I'm repeating myself. So this is the strength card. So you can see it's the strength of the lion. Look at the gray hair. It's not about old age. It's about wisdom. It's about understanding. It's about knowledge. It's about power. So Aquarius, understand that you have this. You are this. You have this power deep within yourself. You have this knowledge and this understanding deep within yourself. But what you often do is you're often afraid to let it loose. You're often afraid to, to set your power free because you're not, you're not sure exactly how strong and potent it is. So Aquarius, for you this week, show your power. Be strong. Be brave. Be courageous. Don't hold back. You have the wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding. You have all of that. Use it to achieve anything that you need to and want to with yourself this week. All right. And Pisces. Let's have a look and see what do we have in store for Pisces. And Pisces, you've got the card of intuition. So it's the card of inner knowing. It's the card of trusting and believing in self. It's the card of not needing to go and get answers from anybody else. It's recognizing that you have all the answers you need within your own soul, within your own mind. And it's trusting that. It's taking time to be quiet to still the mind, to still the body, to, to be introspective and to know that we contain all the answers that you need. So Pisces, it's going to be a bit of a quiet week for you. Well, at least you should try and make it be a bit, bit of a quiet week. You don't want to be too active. You don't want to be too vocal. You want to spend more time being introspective, more time connecting with your intuition, more time in meditation and contemplation. Prayer, contemplation and meditation, all the same thing. So Pisces, for you this week, that's what you need to be doing. All right. So friends, that's our tarot scopes for the week. What I'd like to do now, these cards are, are angel, um, oh, angel oracle cards from Angels Cove. And they really are awesome. They give beautiful messages from the angels. So let's shuffle and see what message do the angels have for us today. And this is for everybody. Okay, so this is a message for the collective, for everybody for the week ahead, the week of 25 May 2020. Whoops. What do the angels want us to know? What is the message that the angels have for us today? I know I've turned one over there, but I want this card over here. So we have drawn the card of abundance, just making sure it's in focus. And the message says, your angels are waiting to shower you with their blessings emotionally, spiritually, materially, and physically. You deserve it. Simply open up your heart. Simply open up your heart channel, sorry, I can't read, to them and await their gifts. Your cosmic bank is about to pay out. You are also being asked to share the abundant gifts you possess with those around you. So friends, we have, all of us, we have the card of abundance for the week ahead. You can uh, take a photograph of this, you can hold on to this, you can write it down. Keep it with you because this is your message for the week ahead for every single one of us. And may you all be abundantly blessed. May you all have an awesome week. And until I see you on Friday for your pick a card for the week ahead, be safe and we'll see you then.